These are the first Kenyan police officers deployed to tackle gang violence in Haiti. This contingent of a long-awaited Kenyan-led peacekeeping force arrived in the Caribbean country on Tuesday. Haitian Prime Minister Gary Conny promised that, little by little, control of the country would be regained. Probably best one can do this objective. Là. The state will regain power and reaffirm its authority so all Haitians can live peacefully in this country. Because the people... Kenya's national security advisor Monica Juma said the force would prioritize protecting civilians, opening up routes for movement of people, goods and humanitarian aid, and protecting state institutions. People of Haiti deserve peace. Gang wars in Haiti have now displaced half a million people. Nearly five million are facing severe food insecurity. Armed groups, which now control most of the capital, have formed a broad alliance, while carrying out widespread killings, ransom kidnappings and sexual violence. However, even as uniformed Kenya police disembarked from a Kenya Airways plane in Poi Pras, a different kind of chaos was erupting back in Nairobi. Kenyan police opened fire on anti-tax demonstrators who were attempting to storm parliament. Several protesters were killed and dozens wounded. A Kenyan security source said the Nairobi violence was unlikely to disrupt plans to send more Kenyan police to Haiti. It has, however, led to some questions about Kenya's ability to lead the security mission.